Greetings. I'm the counting wizard. I love to count. Well, help me. Hang on. I've got you. Why, thanks, mister. I was floating all crazy. I couldn't stop. Hello there. Who are you? I'm the rover. Who are you? I'm the counting wizard. Do you like to count? I do. Do you want to count the planets? That sounds lovely. But first, we must stop them moving. Planets easy. You will freeze. Wow, the magic. One. One planet. This is Mercury. First planet from the sun. It's tidally locked, so one side's always hot and one side's always cold. Wow. One, two, two planets. This is Venus. It has an out of control greenhouse effect going on, so it's the hottest planet in our system. One, two, three planets. This is Earth. Hey, watch out for that moon. Good dodge. Thank you. This is where we live. One, two, three, four planets. This is Mars. It's got iron oxide in its soil, so it's all red. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Five planets. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our system. Wow. And there's so many moons to count. One, two, three, four, five, six planets. That's right. This is Saturn. It has those rings. Aren't they beautiful? They sure are. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven planets. This is Uranus. It has a methane atmosphere. That's why it's blue. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight planets. This is Neptune, the last planet in our system. It's also a gas giant. Now that we're done counting, we will unfreeze the planets. Planets grooving, you get moving. Wow, look at them go. Now you can go too. Thanks for the booster rockets. Now I can go anywhere. I can see the whole galaxy. The whole galaxy? There's so much to count. I can count everything. I can count anything. Farewell. Greetings. I'm the counting wizard. I love to count. I'm looking for the rover. One rover. Do you see him anywhere? Hmm. Where could he be? Hey! Counting wizard! Thanks for meeting me way out here. Indeed, my friend. What can I do for you? Well, ever since you gave me booster rockets, I've been trying to find where I'm from. Yes? And while I recognize the solar system and Earth does feel a little familiar, I realize that I'm not from here. And you want me to help you find your home? Yeah, that's the long and short of it. Maybe if we explore each planet and learn about it, it will jog your memory banks. That's a great idea. Let's start with Mercury. Maybe I'm from there. Excellent. Instead of flying all the way, how about I just magic us there? Oh, that would save us lots of time. Thanks. Magic makes us perky. Portal us to Mercury. What can you tell me about this planet? Mercury is named for the Roman messenger to the gods. The exact date of Mercury's discovery is unknown, as it predates its first historical mention, one of the first mentions being by the Sumerians around 3000 BCE. Fascinating. What else? While Mercury is the smallest planet, it's also the second most dense. This is largely due to Mercury being composed of mainly heavy metals and rock. 
Well, that sure is unexpected with how tiny it is. What more can you tell us? Well, this is neat. Mercury has wrinkles. As the iron core of the planet cooled and contracted, the surface of the planet became wrinkled. Scientists have named these wrinkles lobate scarps. These scarps can be up to a mile high and hundreds of miles long. Scarps, eh? I hope my wrinkles never get that big. What else do you know about Mercury? Only two spacecraft have ever visited Mercury. Owing to its proximity to the sun, Mercury is difficult to visit, without magic that is. During 1974 and 1975, Mariner 10 flew by Mercury three times. During this time, it mapped just about half of the planet's surface. And on August 3rd, 2004, the messenger probe was launched from Cape Canaveral, making it the second craft to visit. Hmm, well, if only two crafts have ever been here, one, two, then this can't be my home. Sorry, Rover, we'll keep looking. That's okay, Captain Wizard. While Mercury is neat, it's not very hospitable, even for robots. Well then, back to space to find your place. Farewell. Bye-bye now. Hmm. Well, Rover, to find out where you're from, where should we go next? The next closest planet is Venus. That seems like the most logical choice, but due to the intense atmosphere, I suggest we magic there so we don't burn up on entry. Burn up? I don't want to do that. Magic it is. A joke can give us a snort. To Venus we must transport. Oh, it sure is warm. That's because Venus is the hottest planet in our system. Well, magic will keep us safe for now. What can you tell me about Venus? Venus rotates on its axis very slowly. It takes 243 Earth days for one Venus day. That's quite a long time. Also, Venus rotates in the opposite direction to the Earth. It's possible that an asteroid collided with Venus, causing it to rotate in that direction. Whoa, that must have been a big asteroid. Venus and Earth are often called sister planets, as they are very similar in size. So similar, in fact, as they are only 638 kilometers difference in their diameter. 638 kilometers? That's so very close to the same size. Rover, have any other spacecraft been to Venus? Well, the Russians sent the first mission to Venus, the Venera 1 space probe was launched in 1961, but it lost contact with its base. The United States also lost their first Venus probe, Mariner 1. But Mariner 2 was able to take measurements of Venus in 1962. And, um, well, the Soviet Union also has the first man-made craft to land on Venus, Venera 3, back in 1966. Oh, so... Once again... Yeah, it would seem I am not from Venus. Bummer. But it is very hot. True. I do seem to enjoy a milder climate. Oh well, let's go to Earth. Indeed. Farewell. Bye bye now. Greetings. I'm the Counting Wizard. I love to count. And I'm the Rover. And we're here looking for my home. Thanks for helping us out. Well, Rover, we're on Earth. What do you know about this wonderful place? The Earth is very unique in the solar system in many ways. It's the only planet that has liquid water on its surface. Ooh, I love the water. Me too. It's fun and you get to clean with it and splash around. Also, the Earth is the only inner planet with one large satellite, the moon. I really enjoy how much the moon reflects the sun's light at night. Oh, good fact there, wizard. Nice. You know, 
When viewed from outer space, much of the Earth's surface can't be seen due to clouds of water vapor. That vapor makes the Earth very shiny, like in this photo from Apollo 17 in 1972. Beautiful. As the Earth rotates around the sun, it tilts very slightly, and in doing so, gives us the seasons. When the Earth has tilted so that the northern half of the Earth is a little bit toward the sun, the northern hemisphere has summer. And when it's tilting away from the sun, the northern hemisphere has winter. I love it when the leaves turn color during the change of seasons. I like rolling over them when they're all crunchy. The Earth differs from all the other planets because it has a wide diversity of life and intelligent beings. This has only been possible because of the Earth's atmosphere, which has protected the Earth and allowed life to flourish. Hmm, that means we must do everything we can to protect it. That's right, Counting Wizard. As of 2017, humans are stuck on Earth with nowhere else to go, so we better take care of it. Indeed, Rova. So it seems that you are made by humans. And do you like the Earth an awful lot? Are you from the Earth? Hmm, it does feel familiar, but something's not right. It's not matching my historical data. I guess it can't be Earth. Weird. Well, that sure is interesting. Shall we go to the next one? Yeah, Mars, the red planet. Let's go. Farewell. Thanks for watching. For more space with me, the rover, click right here. We're gonna have lots of fun.